the 1920s, a celebration of modernism. Modernism is a conscious rejection of the past. Most historians trace the beginnings of modernism in art to the Armory Show exhibit of 1913. The centerpiece of the Armory Show was Marcel Duchamp's Nude Descending a Staircase. This French work caused a commotion, for it didn't look like the art to which most people were accustomed. American artist Charles Sheeler displayed his landscape. The geometric shapes were an indicator of a new modern aesthetic. During the 1920s, modernism came into its own, but many were unprepared. This is Brancusi's Bird in Space. It was shipped from Europe for an exhibition in 1927. Although artworks had been exempt from customs taxes since 1913, a customs officer taxed this piece because he did not consider it to be art. The resulting court case later overturned his decision. American modern art showed appreciation for the machine age. Artists used bold color, geometric shapes, and spatial organization to convey a feeling of immediacy. Flattened perspectives seemed to make an announcement of form rather than drawing the viewer into the picture. This painting of grain silos is called My Egypt. The title suggests an analogy between the pyramids and these silos, images of modern agriculture and technology. Stuart Davis had been an artist during the teens when he had designed covers for magazines like The Masses and exhibited at the Armory Show. During the 20s, he used ordinary objects to show modern style. This is Davis's percolator of 1927. Notice how the design is becoming more abstract. This is a reflection of Cubism, an artistic movement that began in Europe. Cubist painters sometimes portrayed their subject from multiple angles simultaneously, or visually took their subject apart. Spanish artist Pablo Picasso, one of the originators of Cubism, said that the work of painter Gerald Murphy had a particularly American style. Murphy, like Picasso, studied painting in Paris during the 1920s. In 1928, Charles de Muth went beyond Cubism in his expression of the number five. Edward Hopper was the most famous among American painters. His painting of an ordinary lighthouse seems to elevate it to monumental status. It reminds me of the palaces of the shoguns in Japan. Architecture also reflected modernism. Frank Lloyd Wright designed houses which fit in with their natural surroundings, but clearly demonstrated modern style with clean lines and plain materials. Frank Lloyd Wright's Gray Cliff in New York was situated on a cliff overlooking Lake Erie. Again, here are modern lines in natural surroundings. Southern California, in particular, seemed suitable for the clean lines of modernism. The interiors of modern homes often reflected the influences of Japanese or Scandinavian design, worked into an American aesthetic. Photography was an art form made possible by modern equipment and chemicals. It became an art form in the 20s, and sometimes an expression of industrial ideals. This celebration of industry was commissioned by the Ford Motor Company. The new dependence on machinery promised great benefits to American society. Modern art portrayed all that the modern era had to offer, efficiency, prosperity, and progress. It also hinted at the costs of such advancements. The new style was representative of a changing nation and the beginning of the modern age.